Hi, welcome to the Bi-Weekly Show. I am Kyle Schickner. And we're, I guess we're wrapping up a month of Pride celebrations around the country and the world. And uh, it was an extra special Pride Month, I think, uh, with, the, with the Supreme Court rulings, um, getting rid of DOMA and throwing out uh, Prop Hate. Uh, so if, for, to me, it felt, it felt a little more monumentous. It felt a little more um, uh, like we had gotten somewhere. For, uh, so many, for so long, it felt that we were just sort of treading water and waiting for decisions and um, you know, getting, you know, marriage rights and then they're getting taken away and just sort of being this sort of gray area. It just sort of felt like this was a moment of uh, feeling like, okay, you know, we are, the strides we've been making, they're actually real strides. They're not sort of these imaginary, we feel like it's going, um, but it's not really going all that well. Um, uh, full disclosure, I am not a big fan of pride celebrations. Uh, personally, I think they're great. I think they're important. Um, when I first came out, I went to a bunch. I've been, you know, to New York. My first one was in New York. Uh, I've been to LA a number of times. Um, once down in, uh, in Miami. And uh, I- I'm a fan of them. I-, I think they're great. I personally, you know, I, I-, I don't like uh, people. Um, so it's-, it's-, it's difficult, you know. So 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 full disclosure, I'm going to sort of talk about pride celebrations and, you know, uh, didn't really attend any um, big ones. Um, and it's interesting because getting reports around the country from uh, the bi groups all over the country, um, there's been a, a kind of a shift, I think, which is exciting. Uh, the smaller cities and, and, and areas are becoming um, better places uh, for bi politics, bi community. Um, and, and, and I think it's interesting. I think with the, with the widespread acceptance of, of LGBT uh, community and, and, and issues. I think that um, there's, with people growing up in, in rural areas or not in New York or LA or San Francisco, um, there is, is less of a need for people who are in that, who are, or, who are just coming out and realizing this is who they are, to have to feel they have to escape to one of these, you know, main areas, um, and and I think a lot of people are staying home and and building a community and a and a and a, and a, a life there where they're at because it, with the internet and, and and the acceptance, it's a lot easier for people to say, oh wait, I'm not the only person in uh, Cleveland who you know who 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 feels this way, um, you know. I I think you know New York had a great turnout again. Um, San Francisco, as as far as I know didn't have any kind of contingent, um, which is in- interesting. Um, they've always been a very um, uh, early, uh, strong com- um, proponent of, of the bike community. And, and it, them not doing anything special, and, and please, if I'm wrong, please uh, let me know. Um, that, that, that I found interesting. Um, and LA had two, two groups, which you could look at it one way or the other. You could look at it and say, oh, that's great. We're so big. We need two groups. Or... You could look at it like we are so uh, we're so contentious that people aren't getting along, so they had to say, "Well, screw you! I'm going to do it my way. Screw you! I'm going to do it your way." Um, I wasn't there. Of you know, reports for that. You know, there was the the you know the political group and the group that thinks they're really kind of you know too cool for the political group. But you really just sort of you know want to look good and get attention. Um, again, I wasn't there. But what's interesting is. Um, Again, smaller places. Uh, D.C. had a big thing. I, I hear Dallas was great. Uh, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, is it, what, from what I'm hearing, it was just, you know, just not just the pride parade, but like the. It, to me, I think if if you're young and you're buying, you want to sort of get involved in where things are happening. You know, I think Minnesota would be a great place to go. Other than the fact that you're living in Minnesota, um, which is not a slight against Minnesota. Well, it is. It, it is a slight against Minnesota. But not the people, just the weather. If it gets below sixty, I, I can't, um, I can't deal with it. So that's the negative side. The plus side is it's a great bike community, um, and Prince is nearby. Um, you know, so I, I, I think you know it, it's great to sort of see these smaller pockets, these other uh, bisexual communities outside of LA and and and, and Boston, which is always a big. Um, have been big supporter and, and, and uh, these smaller groups. Now, what we need now is is everyone to sort of you know 
start connecting with each other, start working with each other. Um, based on what's happening in LA, I don't, have, I don't, I hope that's not going to be indicative of what's going on, um, because there's really, there's such a, there's such a, a disparity between what people want. Um, but if we could sort of just sort of look at it and say, okay, look, we have different needs, and you know, uh, one group's you know needs you know focus somewhat on transgender, and the other group's needs don't focus on politics, but sort of want to go out and have fun. Um, but if we could sort of all look like this is our umbrella, this is who we are. We all sort of you know are in the same boat. We all sort of are still you know when we're being discriminated against by gays and lesbians, it is because of of the first thing that we're bisexual or. And, and that's, you know, and, we, and at the very least, work together to promote each other, to, to help each other out, to sort of um, uh, get the word out that, yeah, look, you know, there is something going on in, in, in Salt Lake City. Uh, so, you know, again, it was a great, wonderful Pride um, month. One of the, just one of the small things that bugs me is you keep hearing sort of all these people talking about the gay rights movement has just jumped tremendously in the last 10 years. And, and Will and Grace keeps getting mentioned as the as the reason for that. Now I, I don't I don't have a problem with knowing that you know Will and Grace helped move this forward in, in a way that you know you know few few events have. But what seems to be getting left out of this conversation is a lot is is Ellen coming out and to me Ellen coming out and I know we're talking about ancient history here, but Ellen coming out was the biggest event since you know Stonewall. Rebellion, um, and that opened the door for Will and Grace. Opened the door for um, Michael Yuri on um, Ugly Betty, and opened the door for all of the other shows and, and, and artists and people who are now saying, "Well, I'm by." Without Ellen having the guts to say, "Look, this is who I am. We don't have anything." So, so I want to sort of, if if you're ever having conversations out there and you hear this, just just you know, again, um, it's it's. The queer, it's our queer history. We don't want to lose it. Um, you know, just, you know, just remember, hey, you know, wait a minute. Um, a little lesbian named Ellen did a little little more than, you know, two gay men who created a show. Not taking anything away from Max's who, who created Will and Grace, but I'm saying, let's try not to let, once again, the male perspective of this history overshadow some, something that a, a female did, which which happens all the time in our history, as we know. Um, that's it. I'm not here to piss anyone off this week. Next week, I'm probably going to. That's my plan, unless something uh, happens big. Um, and, uh, got the summer trying to reach Mark Burnett. Mark, on Survivor, you know if you're watching, and I'm hearing people are, you know, getting near you. Um, I would be so good for the show, for ratings. I have no problem calling people assholes. But I'll, I'll use it, a PG word. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'm ready. I'm, I'm doing my exercises. I'm, I, I don't like rice. I don't like fish. But I'll be willing to eat whatever I have to in order to get on that show. All right. Uh, for now, that's it. I will see everyone next week. Thanks.